All right, people. Welcome to stream 714. Arc th Art Start 3, stream 15. Let's see if this is going to work. I, know I can't hear anything either. I can't hear the game. That's really weird. Like, I got no sound. Eh, hold up. Maybe. Did it fix itself? I think it fixed itself. I think so. I think I think it fixed itself. Alright, let's go. Uh, excuse me. Oof. Couple things I gotta do. Why didn't why didn't I just go up the other way? Whatever. We got a couple things we gotta do first. Okay? We're gonna go up, we're gonna empty the dragon, because that's one of the things that we had up there that we forgot to get the stuff out of. check some stuff out because I, I think we're gonna see if it worked I tried to add some stuff to the map that was not there before and things that aren't uh, supposed to be here if it worked then they'll naturally be a part of the map <laughs> which uh, we'll see The only thing we're going to leave on here is the meat and these. That's it. Meat slash cryopods. That's all it's going to stay. I don't know how long I'll be on day, but we'll find out soon enough. Hello, Johnny. You're the one who joined yesterday, right? The guy who asked about official PvP, yeah? I remember things. Like my own name. I know, it's impressive. So you weren't looking for official PvP? I actually kind of thought you were looking for it. I was like, oh, you must have been looking for it. Did you find it? If you were looking for it? And do you play official PvP yourself? Uh, I don't want this stupid egg. I'm going to go... You know what? I do want this stupid egg. I can use it. Still looking. Well, I'm sorry, but yeah. I, I myself am not a big official player. It's not my, you know. There were incidents and things that happened that made me never want to play it again. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I tend to avoid, uh, I tend to avoid that. It'll work, this place, this, this'll work. We don't have, or need all of this on us. You are, I don't know why I saved that. The whip is an item in this game that has no purpose anymore. Like I think it, it like I remember it used to have way more way more to it than what it does now. But yeah, like the whip has no purpose anymore. You don't really you don't really need it. As much as as much as I'd like to say you still do. It's not it's not an option, you know? It doesn't really have a reason to exist. Okay, I think 
we are we can get rid of that that's got to go in here we put that away and I think we have everything we need to continue on we're gonna put you I think it's in this one oh boy look at that There's a lot of cooked meat Oh, a lot of cooked meat. Will you be too heavy if I get both? No? Sweet. Okay, we're going to put them in here. I hadn't checked this yet for today. Making me that jerky. Mm-hmm. A whole lot of jerky. Alright, don't need that. We're good here. All right, now we're gonna go check and see if the dinosaurs I added actually stayed. I'm hoping. I am hoping that they stayed. We're not taking you. I don't want to take a dinosaur that I can get ripped off of it. I also removed a couple dinosaurs too. I took them off the map, erased them from existence. Dinosaurs that nobody's ever going to miss. They literally don't stand much of a purpose. Alright, darn it. Alright, there. You ready, dragon? Hmm? You ready to do this? We gotta go to the Redwoods. Which I believe... I don't know, somewhere over here, probably. Yeah, I think they're over this way. Like, right there. Like, right in the middle there. So, anyway, Johnny, tell me, how long have you played Ark? Do you have a, like, preferred map on Ark? And what is your favorite dinosaur? in the right way. I just want to check something first. I think the removal worked. We'll see though. Like I said, I only I only removed a few dinosaurs. I removed like three different dinosaurs that nobody tames or wants because they're literally just in the way. Well you're a weird color. Redwoods, okay. This is what we're looking for. If it worked, we'll know it worked. <laughs> you know what I mean? If we s we'll see certain dinosaurs that don't exist here. One specifically that we literally have, like you've got to summon it in and uh, you'll know Okay, let's check all over the redwoods. We gotta look for something. Well, you get off of the tree. Nope, you're a bear. You belong here. Welcome to the stream, by the way.
Uh, let's see. Nothing that I know of yet. Some sort of like crazy attack the people in the forest again? Because it's not. Terror bird? Uh, no terror birds exist here. I'm not seeing anything yet. That doesn't mean it didn't work. It just means that they're not spawning. And that could just be because there's other stuff on the uh, in the area that they. That I'm, I added everything to the redwoods that I was gonna add. Like I only, it's like five or six different dinosaurs. I'm trying to get to spread them out throughout the map was my goal. So we'll see. So Burrisby, how you doing today? Hmm? What's uh, what's going on? I see. Me? I'm never done with the day. See, the secret is, I am never done with my work, because my work never starts. Mm -hmm. You can't ever be done with your work. If you don't start work, you don't have. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. I'm just saying. All right. You're always busy if you're doing nothing, and what you're supposed to do is nothing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Busiest person on Earth. Did you just hit my dragon? near you. My dragon's too tough for you to kill it. Here we go. Here we go. I'm gonna eat you, and I'm not gonna feel bad about it. I told you not to start stuff, because that I was going to eat you. Couldn't listen. It's not like I was asking too much, you know. All they had to do, go on about their business, you know. Gigantopithecus. Hey, 
aka Bigfoot. And it's pink. Was that a 150 galley mimus? Listen, you. Yeah, that's a 150 galley mimus. Which I can't pick up, I'd like to point out. <laughs> they made this so you can't pick up galley mimus. Where did it go? We're getting this thing. <sighs> so, if people get a bunch of trucks and then drive down the street to in on uh, the same street, but it's a one-way street, is that a pickup line? Well, I mean, like, if, if somebody goes in, like, get off of me. I don't have any time for that. Oh, oh, why? Oh, oh, why? Work on it? What do you mean? My comedy is gold, baby. You know that they call me king because there are countries that worship my comedy. Oh, it's a Trudon. Where's the other Trudon? There they are. Still. Gotcha. Are you my true? Do are you my thing? Huh? You my 150? You're not my 150. Ah! Uh, I just wanted a 150. <laughs> Why? Why, Brisbane? Why do they take away my 150 Gallimimus? I have one dream in life: to dance. A showdown? <laughs> For it to be a showdown, you'd actually have a chance. You'd have to have a chance at winning. <laughs> Don't give yourself too much credit. You. Ha! No, you don't. Don't start it. You. You stay away. You're an 85. You're not what I wanted either. Oh, of course. There's another one tied down over here. But I want it dead. You must die. You must die. You should be scared? Hey, I, I understand that you're scared, okay? I'm a scary person when it comes to, to Jackbox, alright? It brings out the evil that isn't there for me because I'm perfect and glorious and people like me. They said so. The people did, all of them. They all said, we like you. And I was like, cool, I got you. <sighs> No, I didn't. Whoa, buddy. You gotta calm down with this crazy running out of nowhere attacking people in the face thing, alright?
All right. Where's it at? I heard it. You. It's over there. Darn it. Are you my... Are you it? You. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? We're gonna find that Galley Minus. That 150? Oh, yes, we will. And we're gonna tame him. And we will call him Rodrigo. Rodrigo. And I know you're thinking, why Rodrigo? Why not? Who says I get to choose the name? Maybe Rodrigo chose the name. Hmm? Uh, yeah. Why are you still obsessed with Frederick? Frederick is gone. He moved away. Started a base of his own. With a... With a... Family, probably, or something. Look. He still owes me money. Okay? Why do you keep bringing it up? Yeah. He was a real dodo. I don't want him I don't want to talk about him anymore. He's gone, okay? He moved away. What do you mean at the other base? He's gone. It's with yeah, it is shameful that he didn't pay his rent. I agree with you. I'm holding you responsible for that. You're the one who's like, he's a great roommate. He'll totally do stuff that's not bad and blah, blah, blah. That's what you said. You, you're the one who said it. You recommended him. I said, he's a dodo. There's no way he's going to keep his job. He's just going to run off and... You know, not pay things. He's like, no, he can be trusted. He knows my cousin, Cheryl, something, blah, blah, blah. Marco Polio, Mago, my cousin, you know, he knows him. That's what you said. It was all you who said that. Look, I was there. I there's a bee's nest up there. I heard you say it. You're gonna deny it, aren't you? Yeah, you did say a whole lot. You don't remember, because you're the one who said I'll be responsible when he doesn't pay his rent and he and he stiffs you when he runs away. You said that. I was there. I heard it. Yeah, it was right after you were like, hey, look at these pamphlets from the Nook Mafia. Yeah, they're great pamphlets. They'll talk to you about how great it is to be a Nook Mafia member. Look at me. I'm a Nook Mafia member, and I love it. That's what you said. Your words. I'm not, but you are. I'm just, I'm just quoting your words. Yeah, 100%. You. What level are you? Where'd it go? Where did it go? Oh, stupid Galley Mimus. Since you can't pick up Galley Mimus, it annoys me so much. So I just want to pick it up so I can look at it. You. 
Come here. Uh oh. Where did it go? No. Nope, nobody's trying to frame you. It was you, 100%. You even used your name. Your name specifically. And there was a big picture of you there too. Like, yeah, it had your face and everything. Yeah. these days you're just gonna you're just gonna man up and accept it you know that everybody already knows that you're in there and it's not a secret anymore mm -hmm. <laughs> there doesn't need to be a second great the second great is it makes the name sound stupid that's all I'm saying <laughs> Do I? No, you don't. Yeah, ten maybe maybe great 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 grandparents, but that doesn't make you the great one out of it. What do you mean I have two greats? No, I don't. Okay, and their greats don't count as your greats. They're their greats. You don't get to, you know what I mean? You can't cash in on somebody else's works to get greats. Mm -hmm. They earned those greats fair and square, and you are just trying to cash in on them. That's inappropriate. Really? What are the odds that you'd walk right in front of it as I fire? Are you my 150? No! You're killing me here. By the way, there's already a new roommate who's way better than Frederick. He pays his rent on time. Well, he did until he died. <laughs> it wasn't my fault, okay? He died in an argument with several Carnos, but that's got nothing to do with What? It was on stream. They were arguing, and then they killed him. Well, it was actually Blue that killed him. I yelled at him about it. There's nothing I can do, but Blue's the one who did it, so, yeah. Blue shot him. Yeah. He claims it was an accident. He says he was aiming for the car nose, but then accidentally hit the Dota. Wow, you're all nice and crazy and purple. You see that purple? It's very purple. You'll forgive blue? What? Why would you forgive blue? Huh? Huh? You still can't accept that Frederick moved away. You keep putting it on me. You're like, oh, what'd you do to Frederick? Where's Frederick? He moved. 
You still can't accept it. Because he seems like the kind of guy that would uh, that would think two greats in my name is great. No, it's not great. Okay, two greats is not great. Two greats is bad. You don't need two greats in your name. Okay, you don't. They, there's there's no reason for you to have two greats in your name. You're not my 150 either. So we're gonna eat you so you can find it. Are you my 150? Are you my 150? I want all I need is all you guys gotta do is tell me where the 150 is. I'll stop. I'll stop netting you and hurting you if you just tell me where to find the 150. Mm -hmm. I'm doing this for your own good. This is for your benefit. You are also not my 150. I'm doing it to help them. There's a difference, okay? You are, you're in the Mafia. You're the one who would be like, oh, give me this and that. Nook should have all your money. I'm not taking anyone some money. I don't want these dinosaurs to give me their money. They can keep their money. I'm doing what's best for the world, okay? You, on the other hand, are just trying to get cash out of it for Nook. So, Brisby, hmm? let me ask you this. Is the life of one worth the life of a million? Or is the life of a million worth more than one? Yeah. Would you be willing to sacrifice something or let something go if it meant saving a million people? Or would you sacrifice the million people in an attempt to save the one? It's a fair question. Would you be willing to sacrifice one person to save a million? And we're not we're not putting anything on it, okay? It doesn't matter what the person who the person is, whether it's man, woman, child, or what you know anything else about him. It's got nothing to do with it. What it, it's all about the fact that all lives are supposed to be equal, right? So is one person worth saving by sacrificing a million to save that one? Why would it depend on who you're sacrificing? Uh-huh. What do you mean it's not worth it? James is gone anyway. J 
James the Terror of the Nook Mafia. Listen, you. Gotcha. Are you my 150? You are my 150! Oh! We found it! Why, why are you not getting four birds? Pass out. No! I killed it! These things are so hard to tame. Ah! I'm so mad. Sir! Sir! Did you know that Galley Minus? If you know where its family is located? Do you know if there are any other 150s in that Gallimimus' family? <sighs> Sir! I am asking you a question. Do not ignore me. You think you're so clever, don't you? Hmm? You're gonna talk. You're lucky. I'll be back, all right? And I'm on answers when I come back. You will give me answers. Mm -hmm. You. I had one dream to sing and dance. And they took that away from me with the death of this Galley Minus. Curse you, Nook Mafia! Wait, what level are you? You're like all pink and stuff. <gasps> You're a 150! You! Where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? Get here! Sit still! You're not going anywhere! Oh no you don't! Get back into the water! Get back in the water! Come over here and mess with my stuff, huh? You think that's what this is about, mister? I don't think so. Stay away from me, huh? Thinking you're so special. You see this guy? Always trying to get in everybody's business. He's like, ooh, ooh, ooh. You're not special. Well, I think everybody wants one of those singing and dancing wall bass. I mean... It's a singing and dancing wall bass. How can you hate on one of those? Let's look at your stats, huh? Ugh. Oi. Ugh. Blah. Oi. Your stats are terrible. They're terrible. But you're pink and purple, so I'll accept it. Oh. 
Ой. И... Блая. Спла. Bear? I see you over there. I do. Ah, ah, ah. Do not make me. Okay. Just another day of taking care of the crime and the filth in the forest. You know? Sometimes you gotta sacrifice your time to, to take out the filth. Clean up the clean up the area. Let the world know the evil that it's putting out there. Listen, Trudon. The world's lucky to have me. Real hero. <sighs> One day they're gonna say, he was the greatest of all of us. And I'll say, yes. Yes, I was. Yes, it is. They are really lucky. What are you talking about? Okay. Yeah, look, I didn't even want a roommate. You're the one who's all like, Frederick needs a house, a place to stay. I promise it won't be long. He'll pay his rent. He's a great guy. I know him. I'm looking at him. Oh. That's how you talk in my head. I know I've actually, I know I've actually spoken to you before, and I know you sound nothing like that. But in my head, that's how you talk, and how you actually sound. So that's what we're gonna go with. Real voice of power. It's like a friend dresser meets Morgan Freeman kind of thing. I'm pretty sure though, uh, uh, putting it out there, I'm pretty sure Morgan Freeman could literally say anything in that voice of his without raising it, and it would sound awesome, no matter how bad it is. He could be like, I'm going to kill you with this rusty knife. And you'd be like, whoa, crazy. <laughs> like he'd get out of traffic tickets and stuff. Yes, officer, I was speeding, going 150 miles per hour in a school zone. And then he'd be like, oh, you're Morgan Freeman. You know what? Here, you're good to go. <laughs> Gotta love that Morgan Freeman. You, sir, what are you doing? as well there is no way there is no way there is 
Oh my gosh, what? Why did you not? I really don't want to kill this thing. Oh no, no! I think I hit it more than once, which means it's probably going to, uh... Not be a perfect tame. You there! Come here! I do this for your own good. Just, just, just go with it, man. You'll be fine. Everything's gonna be fine, alright? Oh, you did not. Oh no, you, sir, are not going anywhere. I wasn't even thinking about taming a terror bird today. You just ruined my 150, sir, ma'am. So I have a plan for you. We're gonna tame you, and we're gonna throw you into a volcano. You're now ruined. You have no reason to exist anymore. I do it to teach it a lesson, Brisby. It needs to learn a lesson, okay? It has to learn that what it has done cannot be forgiven. That it has wronged, okay? That's what it must learn. This is a terror bird. Mm-hmm. They're horrible, evil little creatures. <laughs> Two 150 pterodons in the same place and it ruined it. Um, no. Okay. I'm doing it for its own good. This is what you fail to understand. You don't get that this is for the dinosaur's own good. Alright? It has to learn that what it does is wrong. Who's going to teach it if I don't teach it? Hmm? Are you, are you gonna take it to a classroom and teach it, huh? Cause I don't believe you are. I don't believe you have it in you.
Oh, you think you're gonna get up, do you? <laughs> oh, no, no, no. We're not gonna let that happen. If you're not gonna go into a volcano, you're definitely not waking up. <laughs> See? Now it's learned its lesson. It knows never to do that again. Ever. Ever again. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. See? You're welcome. I have taught the world something great. Speaking of tomorrow night, maybe, just maybe, if you guys, you know, are 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 nice enough, maybe King E. G. will make an appearance. You know what I mean? I mean, they don't call him the single greatest rapper of all time for nothing. Okay, like he's he's amazing, the greatest of all time. That doesn't work for everything, you know. Like, you know, like how they have twice baked potatoes, you don't get twice great potatoes. I'll give it to Blue. <laughs> He'll like it. It's got blue and green and purple on it. Uh, no, I changed my mind. I don't think so. 23%. It's just not good enough. Whoa, buddy! Whoa! Whoa! Hold it! What are you doing? Man, that thing came out of nowhere. Woo! wild stuff. It's wild stuff. Mm -hmm. have, you, have you heard my Jay Leno impression? Huh? Have you heard that? Have I done that for you, Brisby? My Jay Leno impression? Or my, or my Johnny Carson impression? <laughs> Do you even know who Johnny Carson is? He was the host of The Tonight Show before Jay Leno. If you look him up, uh, most people know most people know of him. I mean, a lot of people don't know much about him. But yeah, see, yeah, like I said, most people know of him. 
but they really don't know about him because he was like way back when you know like I think it was when color TV had just came around like he barely I don't know like he he was like early early TV till uh, I don't know when he stopped being uh, the host. I know Jay Leno took over, though, if it was like the 60s or 70s, maybe? I can't remember exactly when Jay Leno took over, but he had it for a very long time. Anyway... So, so, you should look up the John, you should look up Johnny Carson, see what he sounds like, because I can't really do a Johnny Carson if you have no idea what Johnny Carson sounds like, you know what I mean? I could be like, I'm Johnny Carson, and you'd be like, oh yeah, it's totally Johnny Carson, but you wouldn't know. You know, it might not be Johnny Carson at all. Yeah. It sounds like something you should figure out. There's Bronto over here. Hello, Bronto. What you doing over here? Are you 150, Bronto? Huh? Over here? No. You're a regular Bronto. You think you're special, Bronto? Is that what you think? You think you're a special, special Bronto? Is that how you feel? That you, that you're special, huh, Bronto? Cause you're not special, Bronto. We got ourselves a 150 Pteranodon, which means trophy case. You are going to the trophy case. Wait. We got two of them that are going to go in the trophy case. No, three of them. Yeah, because that was the 150 Rex right there. So that one's going in the trophy case. I thought I'd leveled it, but I guess I didn't. <laughs> you want me? You ready to go for it? Okay. Okay. So his famous line that he'd always say is, that's wild stuff. Okay, so that's the that's the premise that I worked with here. Okay, like I, I I watched a lot of stuff on him, and I was like, okay, how does he sound? And it comes out something like this, like that's that's wild stuff, wild wild stuff. Mm -hmm. That's so weird, and wild stuff. It's not great. Okay, it's a work in progress. You know what I mean? 
It's a work in progress. And then, then there's my Jay Leno impression, okay, which goes like this. Have, have you seen this? Have you seen this? Have you heard about this? <laughs> That's my Jay Leno impression. No, I don't. My problem, my problem with hosting TV shows isn't that the uh, okay, like I don't necessarily have a problem with the idea of hosting a TV show. It's just that people tend to get an idea of what they think a show should be, you know, versus what it is. And then they'll go and they try to force that show to change into something that they think it should be versus what's already there. You know what I mean? And I would never want to host a show because I know that eventually we would get that it's either going to be some sort of executive or a fan base that's going to be like, oh, well, we want to change this or that or whatever, and that's not what we're going about. Maybe. Maybe I did. You'll never know. You don't know anything about me. You don't know my name, how tall I am. Do I like cream cheese? You don't know. As far as you know, my name could be Mac McFlugeldorf, huh? You don't know. And yeah, McFlugeldorf is totally a believable name. Right, what are we doing? We gotta do something. Can't just sit around and do nothing. <sighs> Alright, let's get stuff and tame something. Yep, let's go grab some uh, stuff from the fridge. We don't need anything from there. I'm gonna grab half of this. Eh. It needs to be veggie cake for other stuff. Oh, that weighs a ton though. It really does. Sweet veggie cake is so heavy. I don't know why it's so heavy, but it is. Why am I going back down? Let's close that door, leave it open. For now, anyway, until I close the, there we go. At some point, I gotta build a greenhouse over here. 
I've been putting it off because I'm not sure how I'm going to do it, but at some point I got a greenhouse. I'm going to build a greenhouse right there. But I don't know when. Alright, let's go! I'm ready for this. Okay. Nothing's holding me back. Nothing's gonna keep me down. You know what I'm saying? Nothing's gonna... Something... Other things. Large... Happy sayings. Yeah, nobody's gonna do anything but that. Yeah. Why am I turning around? What what do you want? To, why am I turning around exactly? Why why would I do that? Where am I going? Hmm? Everybody knows I'll be back. It's fine. You there, horse. What level are you? You there, Gallimimus. What level are you? Hmm? Listen, horse. You're you're gonna need uh, 15. You are not the level I'm looking for. You know what, Gallimimus? Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. What about you? You're not what I'm looking for. Gallery Mimus! Listen, you. Come here. Oh, I'm coming to get you. You're not running away from me. Mm-hmm. Where you going? You thought you could get away from me. <laughs> uh, no. That's not how this works. Ow. You're not a 150. I do this for your own good. Boy, they're so lucky to have me to help them with these things, you know? To get them so they know what's going on, you know? Life is just not the same if you don't have somebody like me to help keep you in line like that. It's okay. I'll do it if they won't. Are you striking me? Who do you think you are? What? 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 You think you're special? You think you're you're gonna make it through this alive? Is that your theory? Cause you're not. See, another lesson learned right there. They'll never do that again. You're welcome, world. You're welcome. Hello there, Raptor. Well, that wasn't what I was going for.
Doesn't matter. They got the point. You know what I'm saying? They learned their lesson. I don't have to worry about teaching it to them anymore. That's the best thing about the way I teach people lessons right here, okay? I teach all these dinosaurs a lesson, and then they never break that rule again. Am I wrong? Which means it's definitely the way to go. You can't, you just can't teach what I teach. It's just not possible. Most people make a mistake and then learn for a little bit and then go back to it. But it doesn't happen here. No. It never happens when I teach them the lesson. Some could say I am the greatest of all to teach people such lessons. That the world will never be as well off because they can't teach them as well as I teach them. Yeah. Oh, I don't throw the word great around lightly. You throw the word great around lightly. You don't seem to understand what it means or how it works. But, yeah. I don't throw the word great around lightly. You seem to believe that the word great can be used for anything. No. No, it cannot. Sir, come here. What level are you? Hello. You know Frederick? Do you know him? Is he a friend of yours? Are you related? When's the last time you spoke to him? Hmm? When's the last time? You seem like a Frederick. That's all I'm saying. You do. You wouldn't be calling me a liar there, would you? Alright, because if that's the case... Does he make such cute noises? Does he? Real shame if something were to happen to him, huh, Brisby? It'd be a real shame. If bad things would possibly happen to this little bird, wouldn't it be a real shame? Wouldn't it? I'm just saying. Something could happen. They could, you know, walk in front of a bus. I don't know, fall in a really deep hole, not find their way out. I don't know. Walk into an oven. Bad things could happen to this little bird, Brisby. That's all I'm saying. Bad things. Hmm. I guess we'll just have to hope bad things don't happen to that bird, right, Frisbee? Am I right? Hmm? 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 Yeah, yeah, we will. We'll have to hope. Luckily, I'm such a nice person. I will stop stuff from happening to that bird. I did that. 
So that bird will now be safe from falling, walking into a hole. Or a toaster. Or all of those terrible things I said could happen to it will not happen to it. I have saved that bird. You're welcome. I'm pretty sure that was Frederick's cousin. Yeah. He can thank me later for saving his cousin. Hello, friend. Another lesson to be learned. Just imagine where all of these creatures would be had I not come into their lives. Really? That's all I'm saying, Brisbane. Real hero. Real hero. You're speechless because of the awesome thing I did to that bird, aren't you? What do you- no- I helped them! I have kept them safe all of this time- they're never going to have to worry about anyone trying to hurt them again. That's all I'm saying. They'll be fine for- forever now. Yeah. They're going to be fine. Yeah? Eh. You're very cool colors, but no. We need 150s only, sir. Wow. You're very pink. Why would I make an... I honored them already by helping them. What are you talking about? And Fred doesn't deserve to be honored, okay? He still owes me back rent. I told you, he moved away. Fred's not dead. He moved away on his own terms to a different base, okay? He and I don't speak anymore because he refuses to pay up.
Uh, I'm fine with that, I guess. I mean, I'd have to build a lobby first for them to lobby it in. So they're going to have to wait because I haven't built a lobby yet. Yeah, see? Yeah, they can't come and mess with me. I don't have a lobby. You can't lobby without a lobby. <laughs> Just as you can't study if you don't, if you're not in a study, okay? That's, that's why students have issues. There's not enough studies in the world for people to study in. They're always trying to study in like a bedroom or a kitchen or perhaps a living room. But it's not a study. Everybody knows you need to have a study to study. That's why you need a lobby to lobby. So I'm pretty sure I'm safe. So long as I never build a lobby, lobbyists can never get me. Mm-hmm. Can I, oh, wait. You know what? I, I could probably actually build a lobby. But I'm going to build it right over a volcano. <laughs> Hello there. Hi. Do you know Frederick? Hmm? Can you, can you tell him to pay his rent, please? Do you know Frederick? Do you know him personally? Hmm? Have you guys spoken in the last whatever? Are you his family or friend? Hmm? What about you, huh? What about you guys over here, huh? Do you guys know Frederick? Hmm? Is he your family or friend? Hmm? Interesting. Interesting. They don't seem like they're in the mood to talk. I asked you if you know Frederick. Do you know Frederick? Do you know Frederick? They're not talking to me. We're gonna have to do something about this, Brisby. Okay? We're gonna have to do something about this. What is there for us to do? Hmm? We need to save them. We need to save them before something else can hurt them mm. okay frisbee Here's a weird question, all right? This is one of those questions that comes out of nowhere that people go, what? <laughs> you know what I mean? So, let's say uh, a serial killer breaks into your apartment. You're the only one who lives in the apartment, so there's a serial killer. He breaks into your apartment, right? And as soon as he comes in the room and sees you, he says, oh, you're not worth it, and then just walks out of your apartment. Are you insulted? <laughs> that you're not worth it. <laughs> like, he literally says, you're not worth it, you're not good enough. 
<laughs> like, are you insulted or are you glad a little bit? Like, are, is it in, does that bother you that you're not good enough? And do you want to know why you're not good enough? <laughs> <laughs> like, I I have I already I already have my answer to this question because I I've thought about myself. <laughs> like, but yeah, are you seriously insulted by the fact that you're not good enough? Floor hit. <laughs> so it's gonna bother you, right? You're gonna be like, what? Not good enough? Yeah, for me, it would bother me a lot. Like, I'm not gonna say anything and I'm gonna let him leave, but part of me is going to be like, what? What well, wasn't good enough? Like, how was I not in his category or level? Like it's gonna it's gonna bother the the gar the, the heck out of me. And there's a point to this to to why I asked you this question, Brisbane. there's a point. The point is, I'm not going to save these dodos. And do you know why I'm not going to save these dodos? Because they're not worth it. They're not good enough to be saved. Ha ha ha! Yeah! Didn't see that coming, did ya? Uh-huh. Oh, are you? Are you good enough? <laughs> hey, you! Get over here! <laughs> Do they know their worth? Do they? Maybe I should go back and save them then, if they know their worth. I mean, you know, I would hate to have them, you know. Interesting. Okay. If they know their worth, you know, I suppose they're worth saving. Hmm? Why would I do that? Hey guys! Hey, what you doing? What's going on? Turns out you know your worth. I have to save you. It's uh, it's in the rule book. I do this for your own good. Totally. I'm doing it for them. It's all for their own good, you know, to keep them safe. Not to mention the crime of littering. Look at this, look. They've littered all over the beach. Do you see this? This is all them, all right? They're littering everywhere. They have to learn that you can't litter. And now they've learned that lesson, okay? They'll never litter anywhere else again because they've learned not to litter. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. They've learned that you don't litter.
All right, you have to live. You have to live 20 years as either a fly or a mosquito. What would you pick? And if you pick the mosquito, you're going to end up biting somebody, you're going to die, you're going to come back as a mosquito again. If you pick the fly, you're going to live literally 20 years as a fly and eat what flies eat. You know what I mean? Every time you die for 20 years, you'll come back as that thing. Would you rather live as a fly or a mosquito? All of the see, but here's the thing: you'd only be able to come back one time as a diseased mosquito, because if you got the disease and then you transferred it to somebody else, you would die because you already bit somebody. Do you get what I'm saying here? All right. So r roughly, you would have to be a mosquito, get the disease, and then literally wait until the day you find me. Or you know. Why not me specifically? Because let's be honest, I didn't I didn't do anything wrong here. No, mosquitoes die too. After they eat and they get a full stomach, it blows up and they die. Look it up, it's a real thing. Mosquitoes die after they eat after they bite somebody. Once they get a full stomach, they die. <sighs> Which means you'd literally have to bite somebody with a disease, suck a little bit of blood out of them, and live until the day you found me. Because, yeah. Good luck with that. And besides that, there's no need to get revenge for the dodos, because I haven't done anything wrong to the dodos. All I did was protect them from something hurting them in the future. We've been through this. I'm sure they're happy that I did what I did, okay? Think about it, nothing will ever hurt them. They're safe forever now. Ah. Uh. Ooh. Wait a minute. How were there? Oh, rafters. What do we got? Listen, listen, listen. 162, no. 
Or have you been reading myths? Hmm? I'm pretty sure that's it. I don't know. You know what? One of us is probably wrong here, okay? I don't know. It'll be something we'll have to look up later. Mm-hmm. Either way, the point is, I'm helpful, okay? I am doing a good thing for the world, okay? Oh... I guess the key question is, does it bother you that I think what I think then? Mm hmm? Mm hmm? Do you feel that I have to feel as you feel? The feeling is? Hmm? Do you feel that the earth is flat or round? Do you feel that it's an octagon, perhaps? Perhaps it's a, uh, a triangle? I mean, it could be a triangle. What about you? What level are you? I see I see you up there. You were up there. Where did you go? What about a cube? Could it be a cube? hear you. What are you doing, huh? Thinking you can come over here and attack me. Now, that's not how this works. Welcome to the stream. Let's see here. Man, we are finding nothing. We found that one 150 Gallimimus, and, uh, and then it died. Look, we had to stop and question every Gallimimus we found, okay? And they were not very cooperative, so we did what we had to do to get the information out of them. That's... We're doing it for the sake of the world, so it's fine. Whatever it is I've done, it's fine, because we're doing it for the sake of the world. I think it's completely effective. I'm just saying, they never have to worry about somebody asking them questions again. We get all the information on the world. They never have to worry about being bothered. In the end, it's good for all of us. It really is.
I send them on a little vacation somewhere, all right? They just go and visit a relative somewhere. That's that's all. I help them reconnect with family. Yeah. They go on a trip to a faraway place without intentions of, of ever returning. They just move away. Yeah. Everybody knows that. It's completely obvious. I mean, you're the only one who doesn't see it. Hello, gentlemen. <laughs> hey. Would you like to go on vacation? I'm just saying, all right? I could easily send you on vacation. That's all I'm saying, all right? It would be enjoyable. Consider it. It's a great thing. It's a great opportunity. You guys can get a job. It'll be it'll be great. You guys just keep that in mind, all right? It's a free vacation where you'll never be bothered again. I'm not going to do anything. I'm just offering them a vacation, Brisbane. just offering them a vacation okay a free vacation that they don't return from it's up to them whether they take it mm -hmm. I'm a considerate person nope Nope. Uh, excuse me. Uh, I will have you know, <laughs> I have an amazing travel agent, okay? Amazing. And they get them really good deals. They get great flights home, okay? I think you're being very judgmental here. You're judging the vacation before they even get to take it, yeah? I think you should let them decide. No. No, not Dodo Flight. <laughs> Besides, would you have them fly Nook Airlines? You probably would. Alright, we're gonna go lay in this thing. I'm gonna go inside and we're gonna talk for a bit. We're just gonna hang out and talk for a little bit. Yeah, I know they're not cheap, and I'm nice enough to send them on a free vacation. Which means the tickets had already been paid for. All they have to do is go to the place I send them to, all right? It's a free vacation. They don't lose anything out of it. It's a 
win-win. You get what I'm saying? We're gonna put this back in the fridge. Just because I don't want to lose any of it. There. Okay. <clears throat> so, let's talk, people. Let's talk. So, I said to myself a while ago here that from now on, I'm going to point at least once per stream. Again, I said this. Because I, I, I don't think I paid a lot of attention to this before. And if I want the channel to grow and so on and so forth, I gotta pay attention to this stuff. Whatever. But I'm gonna do it. So, turns out, people, we have a Discord. Mm hmm. And a YouTube channel where I post all of my past streams. Go figure. I know, you're thinking to yourself, a YouTube channel. A Discord? Whoa. Whoa. I know, it's mind-blowing. It's crazy. It is insane. Mm-hmm. If you join the Discord, Rizvi won't turn in to a dodo. Mm-hmm. Everyone who joins the Discord or watches the YouTube ch stuff stops Brisby from turning into a dodo for one more minute. Mm-hmm. Yeah? And do you want Brisby to turn into a dodo? I don't think you do. Okay? So, we'll start a thing. Hashtag save Brisby from turning into a dodo. Join the Discord. Watch the YouTube. Yeah? We don't want her to suffer as a dodo. So, let's talk games, people. Let's talk games. Games I want to play in the future. What I'm looking to get, and I really want to play, Stanley Parable. Exactly like Beauty and the Beast, but backwards. Mm -hmm. Well, like, yeah, I want to buy the Stanley Parable at some point. I want to play that on stream. Again, seriously debating about Cyberpunk at some point in the near future. If I can figure out if we can stream it without getting the naughty parts of the game in there. <laughs> there are some some parts which will definitely get me banned if eventually at least, if even if it won't now. <laughs> uh let's see. I want to do We Happy Few again. Now that I bought the complete version of it, I want to play the game plus the DLC for it. So, really looking forward to that. Loved We Happy Few. Thought it was fantastic. And let's face it, we have not taken our joy recently. Okay? Joy is important. Uncle Jack says so. And Uncle Jack never lies to us. He cares. He's he's a great guy, Uncle Jack. He would never hurt us. No. No, he would not. So, let's get some ideas out there. Grisby, what are we thinking, huh? You said we're doing the stream... Tomorrow night. That's right. You can't enjoy if there's no joy. I know you were intending that to be some sort of brisbee pun, but we're going to turn it into a, a quote of some kind just to make this work for now because I feel like it. What we need here, I think, one of the next couple streams for... For this, I think we need to get ourselves a receptionist, a secretary of some kind, maybe a publicist, an agent, 
You know what I mean? We'll have to go search it around, see if we can find some. We do have Jackbox tomorrow night. Yes, and I know this because we already know that I'm the king of Jackbox, okay? I am just that good. That amazing. That fantastic. You know how you try to keep saying that there's two greats in your name? Which literally make no sense again I am just the best at Jackbox they don't call me the king of Jackbox for nothing mm-hmm I know you I know you well I know you so well that I know your real name is Philbert McGillicuddy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You're actually... You're actually 86 years old and 20 years old at the same time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And you live in Antarctica in a cave with a bear named Walter. But it's not a it's not a polar bear. No, it's actually like a like a tiny grizzly bear. It's only three inches tall. And I know what people are thinking. Will there be a relationship between Brisby and Walter in the future? I don't know. I can't tell you that. That's something they're gonna have to figure out on their own. They're going to have to sort out their feelings, their thoughts, their emotions. Walter. Walter's a complicated bear. Anyway. So. <clears throat> let's think what's going on here. What do we want to do? I don't have anything else I want to do for today. I'm just staying around at this point. Got nothing else. In it. I hadn't really had a plan. I gotta do, come up with a plan for the greenhouse. Which means, at some point, we're gonna have to go and get a ton of crystal. Because if we're gonna build a greenhouse, we need greenhouse walls. We need greenhouse ceilings and greenhouse doors. Just a ton of greenhouse. We just need a lot of greenhouse. I mean, yeah, all the games I listed are, are great games. I really, like, one of them was I've always wanted to play is the Stanley Parable. I mean, I've seen tiny bits of the game. And as soon as I saw it, I was like, I have to play this game. Okay? Like, I have to. It's it's just... It, it is just, look, like a fantastic game. So I have gone out of my way. Yeah. Uh, I, I have to go, like, out of my way and play this game at some point, so I just literally didn't look into it. So at this point, like, I really want to play it. I, get, I have to wait until I get some money up to buy it first. But, yes, that's definitely, like, the next game on my list to buy is the Stanley Parable. Because I, I really, really want to stream that game. At some point, I wouldn't mind finishing the game Maze as well. I mean, I wasn't, it wasn't a great game, I'll be honest. So far, it wasn't a great game. But the idea of me going against Korn, that's very smart, was a really cool idea. It seemed like there was Korn that was going to be intelligent, and you always have to go against it in a cornfield. It sounds really fun, if it gets to that point. I don't know if it's going to. Like, from what I saw of it, it was kind of dragging and it was laggy and it's just... Bleh. But... Yeah, th it's a game called Maze. I saw it on PlayStation Network and I started that. And it... From what I've seen of it, it's like corn... Evil corn that's trying to take over or something and you're trying to figure out something and how to stop it. Like, it had corn with boomboxes and gangster glasses and stuff like that, and I was like... 
I, I don't like honestly you haven't missed it because I have to look it up on how to deal with it like the thing is where we were at on it I was trying to figure out how to get past it and I couldn't figure it out so I'm gonna try and I, I might have to do some sort of a look up some sort of a quick walkthrough to get to a good point because I couldn't figure out what the next step was. It doesn't necessarily tell you where to go or what to do. You have to kind of figure out. It's kind of like a puzzle game. So I honestly don't know what we were supposed to do to get any further than that. But I really want to see where that goes. If it really is about intelligent corn that I have to go against, that sounds awesome. <laughs> Please don't use popping off. No, you you can't use popping off. It doesn't work for you. I've spoke to you before, and I know that you can't you can't use popping off. It just it isn't your thing. It works for some people, but it doesn't work for you. That was that was a terrible joke. That was terrible. You need to use your ears and just hear, you know what I mean? Just get a field of questions out there so that people can, you know, give you a kernel of information to help you to know what jokes are better, you know? You gotta find you gotta find the the jokes that are the cream uh, of the crop. You know what I mean? Uh huh. It was not bad. It wasn't bad. That was a. Okay. Uh, yeah. I'm just I'm just sitting here at this point. I need to do something. All right, people. So, um, tonight, if I come back, I probably won't be doing ARC because I have to think of some sort of plan for what I want to do from this point. And i got to wait for whoever, the person who helps me to figure out the walls I want to do for the outside of this place. But yes, I have to. That I want to ask how I should go about making the greenhouse too, because I don't know how I'm gonna get a staircase and even this stuff out. Either way, it doesn't. It doesn't matter. So, we'll probably be doing prey tonight. If if I come back, we'll probably be doing prey, which is going to be. I'm really looking forward to, because uh, we we have possibilities for new powers that the aliens have certain powers and we might be able to get some of those powers we're gonna see how I feel about it though like like I think it would be awesome to be able to do what those ones can do which is use electricity and then turn into a puddle of water and then <laughs> like that would be awesome to, to be able to just electrocute somebody and then whoop, turn into a puddle of water and go away Anyway, for those who watched, thanks for watching, and I hope to see you next time. Thanks for joining me here, Brisbane. And, you know, you're welcome anytime.